hello hi guys welcome back to yet another youtube video if it's your first time seeing this face if it's your first time here welcome welcome i truly do hope that you enjoy your visit and i truly do hope that you will be staying um i hope that you enjoy the content of this video which convinces you enough to hit that subscribe button which by the way is absolutely for free of charge if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining me on this video your presence truly does not go unnoticed um i truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and i truly truly do mean that today we're gonna actually be talking about um a topic that it's actually a video that i actually saw here on youtube about the beast woman of mauritania i hope i'm pronouncing it correctly and I just want to actually talk around that. And, you know, actually thinking about it, I think that it's just so crazy that in different parts of the world, there's these crazy beauty standards that women are expected to conform to. And yeah, I want us to get into that while I do my makeup. The last time, the video was absolutely long. So this time, I'm going to do it in sections. I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to do it in sections. However, I'm going to see how it goes. Um, and then try and finish off one thing. And then talk about like the next point that I want to talk about. So let's get right into the video. There's a place somewhere in the world that's called Mauritania. And this place has a culture a practice within their culture that they've been practicing for quite a while right so they've got these beauty standards and this cultural practice of finding or deeming obese women as attractive so this video is basically about you know this guy who goes it's basically a documentary this guy who finds out about this place in uh mauritania about these women who are basically force fed to be fat and i must give a disclaimer right this is the word that they used on the video fat i know some people are very sensitive concerning like the words you know the word fat and being thin they prefer using like maybe full figured or obesity or they prefer maybe using like slim woman instead of thin so i'll try but if i do make i'll try and you know because maybe some people do view it as like a much more respectful way of using it because the word fat does have a negative connotation to it. So if I do mistakenly use the word, please do forgive me. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I am not, you know, trying to speak down on women who are full figured because I am full figured myself. So basically, these women are grown up in a society where being obese, being chubby, being fat is actually viewed as attractive to men, to the men in their culture. So what the woman would do is that if you gave birth to a girl child, you would basically overfeed her so that the chances of her finding marriage the chances of her getting married and the chances um, or the pool um, or the amount of men would then find her attractive would be quite high. So they would basically take children and I'm guessing once they see you maybe like of age, they would take you in into like this camp, right? And you are force fed. I don't know like over how many years this is done but they would feed them up until they are obese and when i saw this guys i just thought it's so crazy and the reason why i thought that it's so crazy because there's parts of the world where being obese and being fat is actually viewed as unattractive and to think that there's another part of the world where these women are actually being force fed to be obese, to, to, to be attractive. 
regardless of the health hazards that come with that is crazy to me hence i was saying that this whole thing of beauty standards guys is crazy like this whole thing of what we deem as beautiful and just putting women into like these weird positions of fitting into those beauty standards in order like to secure your chances of getting married is crazy and so this guy was interviewing one of the ladies there and she was saying that obesity being obese there is, is associated with prosperity health and fertility meaning that you when you are obese you are then viewed as healthy you are viewed as like your capability of having many children are high and that i don't know how the 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 prosperity aspect of it of the way they view it and she further went on to say that in their culture men don't want thin women because thin women are um, like a man when he looks at a thin woman he's like he doesn't want to be with a thin woman because touching a thin woman is the same as like touching another man's bones and this is a practice within their culture that has been practiced for years for years and i think trying to reason and trying to think of why like this practice would even you know exist back then the only thing i can think about is the fact that maybe their ancestors did not know about even the word obesity they that they did not even know that obesity is actually like it's a life-threatening disease you know so like a lot of things have developed over the years and like what fascinates me i guess is the fact that it still continues today like in 2020 in 2024 there's still a culture in the world that still upholds such practices and yet there's just so much information around these things you know or maybe i am downplaying the fact that i live in south africa and maybe the access to information is quite like it's easy to get access to information here in south africa why must a woman's beauty be attached to a man's desires do you get what i'm saying so for the fact that in that culture they preferred obese and chubby women and by the way i'm just thinking there's just some people who genetically you're not even made up to be chubby why must a woman's like beauty be attached to what a man deems as beautiful why is a woman's beauty focused on a man why and it's not even like the the funny thing when i watched this video it seemed like a far-fetched thing but coming to think about it it isn't a far far-fetched thing because even as a female depending on where you grew up depending the times you grew up in when you um if you were a female there were certain tasks that you were taught to perform and those tasks in a sense were preparing you for a suitor one day they were preparing you for marriage one day until today if you aren't able to perform those tasks or certain tasks you are viewed as not being wife material that no man should suffer in your hands because you aren't able to perform these duties still today 
we still tell female children that yo when if 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 they find out you're lazy, yo which man would wanna marry a lazy woman, you know? So it's almost as if as a female child again, depending on what times you grew up in, you um you are brought up in a way that must you must be favorable to a man. Like a man must view you as, as I don't know, as like you must qualify to, to, to be found attractive. And it's sad guys, because you are then brought up with the mentality to chase after what men deem as attractive what men deem as as beautiful i made an example in my previous video that i said when i go to kzn i'm viewed as a middle-sized woman i'm viewed as like girl you need to gain some weight because men this side like chubby woman that's how the woman that side are so if you are going to fall within the beauty standards of what of 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 that society that side you must pick up weight you must have hips you must have a big bum you must you know and then come this side when you are in Gauteng you then need to you know it's the extreme well it's not really the extreme side but there are parts of the world where it's the extreme opposite there was a time, and these things, funny enough, they go with trends these days. There was a time where being thin, being extremely thin, was the eat thing. And so, almost every girl wanted to be thin because you look at the girls who are viewed attractive. And as a young, impressionable young girl, you want to become that because you want to get attention. No matter who says what, guys, everyone enjoys a certain level of attention. Whether we want to accept it or not, everyone wants to be validated, guys. To a certain extent, everyone wants attention. The only difference is that other people get validated or they seek their validation in the wrong places. But everyone wants to be validated, and I don't think there's a problem with that. Because sometimes, you know, people will be like, no, don't seek your validation from, you know, from anyone except God, which there is, like, there's, there's a truth in that. But just imagine being in a relationship with someone who didn't validate you, a person who didn't ever tell you that, you are beautiful you know a person that that just didn't validate you you'd feel as if the person is not attracted to you so i don't i i feel like humans were created with that in them you see it from children we were created with wanting and needing validation so i don't see a problem in wanting to be validated the only problem is i think that you need to be selective of where you get your validation from it shouldn't just be from just anyone but there are relationships in your life that as a human being you're gonna need validation you're gonna need validation from those people you understand what i'm saying your own validation can only go so far though it, it, it is important extremely important i actually recall there was a time where my uncle used to take me out on dates he used to take me out on dates and my uncle always validated me <laughs> and at this time like i had just started working and at times used to deliver flowers to my workplace and i remember people were just like 
are you kinda by uncle like that uncle like there's no such thing and i remember my uncle saying to me that i do these things so that a guy should a guy come along and he doesn't have good intentions towards you you are not pers like you are not swayed by his words you are not swayed by his words just because he's doing the stuff that stuff that you are not used to you know i'm telling you these things you're beautiful you're in, you're intelligent i'm validating you because especially as a young as a young girl guys when you don't hear those things at home that you are beautiful when you start hearing them from these guys you are so charmed you are so charmed and you really think that they have good intentions towards you so hence i'm saying that the validation needs to come from the right people the validation needs to come from the right people so that even when someone doesn't have good intentions towards you and they try and come in you know try and come and sway you aside for their own benefit you are able to make an informed decision an informed decision because the words that you are hearing him affirming you is not it's not something that is foreign to you it's not something you, you've heard it before your parents have affirmed you someone has affirmed you and validated you i recall when i was growing up i was so insecure about my complexion you guys and in my family they always made like you know like remarks and jokes about my complexion i even had nicknames because of my complexion because in my family i am i'm fairly i'm fairly dark <laughs> i am dark in comparison to the rest of other people when i started noticing that guys actually started giving me attention this was a very weird thing i actually had some guys who just had like weird fetish a weird fetish fetishes if that's a word towards dark skin girls and i'd get like these i don't want to mention the race but these people would like like i love your skin you know i love your skin you look and 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 that say very inappropriate things like i love your skin you look like a person who's very good in bed you know and you hearing those things and you're thinking to myself wow this guy really likes me can't you know this person has a weird fetish that dark people who are dark in complexion or you know they know their stuff when it comes to sexual stuff i don't even know where that came from and that person is just trying to fulfill their their desires but because you never ever heard that you didn't grow up hearing that dark in complexion people are actually beautiful you get excited when you get such attention and it's not even attention for the right reasons I know I'm going off topic a little bit but I actually wanted to speak about body weight. Body weight um has been a big thing for me for most of my life. I mentioned this um in the pre in in the previous video. For all of my adult life I've been trying to lose weight. And I mentioned that I was not trying to lose weight for health reasons. Now I do it because health reasons health is the number one thing fun fact guys the older you get the more you get to appreciate just being healthy um so back then i lost weight because people around me my age group were um, thinner than me and i used to always get like you know picked on because of my weight right um but what i actually notice is that 
when I started getting attention from guys, guys who were way older than me were more attracted to me because my body looked or made me look as if I was actually older than my actual age. And guys, I am so grateful for the fact that at a young age, I, I don't know, I don't want to say at really a young age, but at a certain age, when, when I started getting attention from men, that I found the Lord. I found the Lord. I, I received salvation. And that was truly my saving grace. Because I had these men who were attracted to me because my body gave off the body of an adult. And I was a child. My phone actually stopped recording, you guys, and I've been blabbing to the camera away as it is not recording. But I was basically saying that um, I was a child and I was getting these people who were attracted to me because I gave off the vibes that I was an adult. But it just makes me think of I'm a 2K of today of, you know, I look at most of them and when I look at them, I'm just like the majority of them look so ahead for their age um and i'm not gonna talk about yeah the the negative side of that because people are like ah, they look old for their age that means they're doing stuff like i'm gonna leave that but it concerns me because i'm a 2k these days very seldomly date guys within their age bracket they feel like they're too childish and all of that, the whole thing of a woman matures faster than a woman, than a man and all of those things. But I do feel like men still prey on these kids because their bodies just look way um, ahead than their actual age. But I just feel like even in society, the marketing that's just used when it comes to a woman's body, almost anything that they're trying to market will have a woman's body and a woman who is half naked and it just makes me think that what god yes men have the aspect to them that their weakness is their eyes that they get attracted through their eyes through seeing and apparently with women it's through hearing and all of that um but i do believe that god within the context of marriage god created these two beings for enjoyment of one another the differences between the man and the woman they were supposed to enjoy their differences um, between one another within the context of marriage but i feel like that the race differences between a man and woman these days is actually used to destroy one another and that's why i think porn is such a big thing especially in men's lives and it's destroying our men because the image thing, right? They seeing um, a world, or they um, they are seeing a fantasy that is not even real. Because even in a healthy type of relationship, a healthy type of marriage, those things that they normally see in porn is not true. You know, or it's not. Or I want to believe that it's not true. So it's a whole different world, a fantasy of a world that the men are supposed to live in. And when it comes to actual relationships, they aren't able to have healthy relationships and healthy sexual relationships because they're holding on to this fantasy and this mindset that has been introduced to them. Till today, I feel like, especially with, with, with children and with females that are coming from broken homes, that they are still chasing fulfilling standards beauty standards of men just to secure a relationship or just to secure marriage we still see it today we still see it today so i am done with my makeup look i went for a subtle pink look um and tell me what you think about this look but i do want to close off the video here because i don't want it to be that long in a nutshell guys beauty standards have always existed they always will exist and so i think it's important for us especially as females 
whichever age bracket you find yourself in there are beauty standards within that age bracket there's nothing there's nothing beautiful and there's nothing aesthetic um, about being unhealthy just to meet beauty standards so truly what we should be chasing is being physically at a healthy place and mentally feeling like you are in a healthy place mentally feeling like you're in a healthy place because i believe when you are mentally in a healthy place you are in a place where you are able to think rightly and think in think in a healthy way about certain things so you wouldn't go go through extremes of trying to gain weight just so that you are perceived as beautiful even if it's going to be a health hazard for you or you wouldn't go through um, norms of using pills that are dangerous to your health just to be perceived or just to fit into a certain a certain group or a certain weight of being beautiful because it's aesthetically pleasing or because it falls underneath beauty standards. We should truly just focus on being healthy, period. Healthy in all aspects. Please do make sure that you hit the like button. Please do make sure that you subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much for watching up until this far. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.